the songwriting process for me varies, but usually it starts with the lyrics. And then I tend to work on the, the melody and then the chord structure. If the song's got a more up-tempo feel, um, maybe a more sort of contemporary thing going on, it's nice to try and get a hook in there somewhere. In the case of Solitary, um, the chorus itself I think is quite hooky, there's a nice repeating hook there. Solitary, solitary. A lot of the, the kit that I used on the album uh, are old amps, old guitars, but there's some modern technology in there as well because, you know, it's good to have a blend of old and new. So it's a bit like my idea behind the songs themselves really, you know, trying to do uh, old school songs, but sometimes with a little contemporary twist. So for example, with Honey Slide, I took one of the guitar lines and slowed it down and reversed it and then use that at the beginning with some talking from an old 50s documentary about bees. The male bee is called a drone. Lazy, stupid, fat and greedy. So, you know, a bit of fun. Let me I took the thumb piano, which is played through the song, pushed it up two or three octaves, and then used that by itself at the beginning, over the top of the sound of the rainstorm, and it adds a sort of tinkly rain effect, but it's actually in time with the whole song, and that kicks in all together once the song gets up and going. Rain will fall and the water will rise. Rain will fall and the water will rise. Leave the lowlands a handful of high. And there's another rain song. Uh, Porto Banus is one of the most expensive bits of real estate in Spain. Uh, and on the same trip that I wrote uh, Misprint Formica, uh, I went to Porto Banus. Uh, just to have a beer, loads of yachts, parked outside all along the edge of the marina, outside the bars were all these Lamborghinis, Ferraris and inside were all these young very rich guys in their Versace suits and shirts. This massive cloud rolled in and there was a, a torrential heavy monsoon kind of downpour and all these young guys were rushing out with their key fobs, pointing them at the car, trying to get the roofs up, or manually trying to get the roofs up as quickly as they could, because this rain was going right into their open top cars. And it made me think, it doesn't matter how much money you've got, if it rains, you're gonna get wet. Sometimes long for, and sometimes be. Washing away the dirt that stains all you see, and I sometimes feel my sins rise and surface, run down my skin. Well, Misprint Formica, yeah. Um, it's probably the only song ever written about a Formica work surface. Um, story behind that, I was in Spain and I came down for breakfast this one morning uh, and I sat down and I looked at the tabletop and um, all of the colours were, weren't quite lining up right. They'd been printed all off register. And uh, it's, you know, I had a real job focusing on the table and it kind of messed with my head for a few seconds so I thought what if this is intentional what if in some faraway country these tabletops are being printed intentionally off register 
to mess with your head uh, in some kind of global uh, undercover mind control operation. <laughs> well, Miss Brown for Micah, made in Indochina, and put here in this place to push me into my inner space. few people have asked about the cover design, mostly, what is it? It does look a bit abstract and the whole point was I wanted to use something that didn't shout blues, didn't shout Americana, but quite an interesting image. Je me sens très bien, gonna party, gonna party. It's actually a photo of a, a ceiling light that my eldest son Josh took when we went to the ill-fated Woodchester convent and Josh noticed the light in reception so uh, he had a decent camera with him being a photographer so he got on his back on the floor and took a straight up shot. It's a fantastic old building, loads of interesting corridors. The photo on the back of the album of me sat in the sofa, that was also taken at the convent and it happened to be a dark corridor with just that, a light hanging down. A little light coming in from the side, so I sat there and, and uh, he took the photo. Let me down. Let me down. When you're kind of doing things yourself, and you're not in a band like the Gigantics or like Sons of the Delta, and you're not putting out a band album, it does feel more, you are more nervous about, about the thing, you know, because it's all your work rather than a collaborative uh, thing. Well, I'm very lucky. It's been getting some good airplay, and um, I've been getting some really good feedback from them. They all seem to be enjoying it. And um, I hope everyone out there uh, is enjoying it too. Touchwood, so far so good.